The secret to stopping fear and anxiety. That actually works. One of the strongest feelings is fear. It has a powerful impact on both your body and psyche. You will learn how to control your feelings of dread and anxiety by watching this video. It's a natural human reaction and essential to our survival. In the event of an emergency or dangerous circumstance such as a fire or an attack, it facilitates our response. It can also happen during less serious, more routine occasions like parties, job interviews, public speaking, exams, and dates. It's a normal response to situations that strain you. We refer to our anxieties about the possibility that something bad could happen later rather than now as anxiety. Anxiety may come on suddenly and disappear when the thing that was worrying you is gone, or it may linger much longer and cause major problems in your life. Persistent anxiety can interfere with your ability to focus, eat, or sleep. You might not be able to travel, have fun, or even leave the house to go to work or school. Anxiety can have an impact on your health when it prevents you from doing the tasks you need to or want to complete. Some people experience overwhelming fear and try to stay away from anything that could make them feel scared or uneasy. Although breaking this pattern can be challenging, there are numerous approaches available. It is possible to learn how to manage your anxiety and feel less afraid so that it doesn't prevent you from living. Why do you feel afraid? Many things arouse our fears. Certain things like fires might make you feel safe. Every person experiences fear in different ways and this can also affect how they behave. The first step to conquering anxiety may be understanding what causes your fears and why. Control and lessen stress. What are some ways to control and lessen stress? What causes you feel uneasy or anxious? Since anxiety is a form of fear, the previously discussed characteristics of fear also apply to anxiety. The term anxiety is typically used to characterize worry or long-lasting terror that frequently has no apparent reason. When fear is focused on the future or potential future events rather than the present, it is called anxiety. Healthcare providers frequently use the term anxiety to refer to enduring fear. Because the fundamental emotion of fear and anxiety is the same, the feelings you experience when experiencing both are rather similar. If I need assistance, how can I tell? We are all going to occasionally suffer fear and worry. It can only develop into a mental health issue if it is severe and persistent. It is advisable to get assistance from your doctor if you have been experiencing panic attacks, feel like your worries or phobias are taking over your life, or have been experiencing constant anxiety for a few weeks or use one of the numbers or websites found at the bottom of this page. How can I take care of myself? If you can, confront your fear. Avoiding scary circumstances all the time could prevent you from fulfilling your needs and desires and cause you to lose out on important aspects of life. This means you will also lose the opportunity to practice managing your anxieties and lowering your anxiety because you will be unable to determine whether the situation is indeed as severe as you had anticipated. If you fall into this routine, your anxiety issues usually get worse. One good technique to get over this anxiety is to expose yourself to your anxieties. To face your concerns, you can try making tiny attainable goals for yourself. Recognize yourself. Seek to understand your worry or dread better. To keep track of your thoughts, feelings, and triggers for anxiety, keep an anxiety journal. You'll be able to control your anxiety better if you know how it affects you. It could be helpful to have a list of items on hand for when you start to feel scared or nervous. This may be a useful strategy for addressing the underlying ideas causing your worry. Speak with a dependable friend or relative. Feeling foolish or even ashamed of worries and fears is a normal occurrence. This may cause us to keep our problems from our loved ones hidden. However, you don't have to feel this way and you don't have to face your fears by yourself. It often feels better to talk about what's going on if you have a friend or family member you know would react positively. Speaking with someone about a problem can make you feel less anxious and motivate you to seek out additional support if necessary. Work out. Make an effort to engage in more physical activity. While exercising demands focus, it might help you forget about your anxiety and fear. Recall that exercise doesn't have to be strenuous. Walking, sitting exercises, and moderate stretches are all beneficial to your health. Unwind. Acquiring the ability to relax can aid in reducing both your physical and emotional symptoms of dread. Simply lowering your shoulders and taking deep breaths can be beneficial. Or picture yourself in a tranquil setting. Additionally, you might experiment with complementary therapies or physical activities like yoga, tai chi, massage, mindfulness exercises, or meditation. Spirituality and Faith In the event that you identify as religious or spiritual, this may help you feel a sense of unity with something more than yourself. Belief can offer a method to manage daily stress, and frequenting places of worship and other religious gatherings can establish important connections with supportive individuals. Take a break. Thinking rationally is unattainable when one is overcome with fear or anxiety. First, give yourself some space to allow yourself to physically relax. 
Take a 15-minute break from the worry by taking a bath, brewing a cup of tea, or going for a walk around the block. Imagine a joyful place. Shut your eyes for a moment and visualize a peaceful, safe location. It might be a photo of you strolling along a stunning beach, curled up in bed with your cat by your side, or a joyful recollection from your early years. Till you're feeling more at ease, allow the good emotions to calm you. Discuss it. Fears lose much of their scary quality when they are shared. Make a call to a helpline like Breathing Space if you are unable to speak with your spouse, friends, or relatives. Another option is to use a phone-based cognitive behavioral therapy program, such as NHS Living Life, Cedar General Practitioner, GP, for assistance if your anxieties persist. GPS can recommend patients for psychotherapy, counseling, or support via online mental health services like Living Life for the Full. How can I receive assistance? Talking treatments. For those who struggle with anxiety, talking therapies such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or counseling are often beneficial. One example of this is computerized cognitive behavioral therapy, CCBT, which walks you through a sequence of screen-based self-help tasks. To learn more, speak with your doctor. You can also refer yourself to NHS Talking Therapies in England. You can use the Living Life Service in Scotland. Silver Cloud is accessible in Wales. Check out what's available in your trust area in Northern Ireland. Groups of assistance. Asking those who have dealt with worry before can teach you a lot about handling it. People with similar experiences come together in local support groups or self-help groups to hear each other's stories, exchange advice, and motivate one another to try out novel approaches to managing anxiety. The contact information for local support groups can be found through your doctor, library, or citizen's advice bureau. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.